All right, Cameron, we're going to look at a chemical that's got a very interesting property today. It's called sodium acetate. And in order to see this property of it, we need to make a solution. Do you remember from class what a solution is? It's a chemical that's dissolved in a liquid. Chem okay, chemical dissolved in a liquid makes a solution of that chemical. All right, so in order to make our solution of sodium acetate, Cameron, what we're going to do, here's, here's the chemical, the sodium acetate, and I'm going to let you make the solution. So we're going to use our stirrer and our hot plate here to help us out. We want to heat this water up so it will be able to dissolve more of the sodium acetate. And I'm just going to let you slowly add some in one scoop at a time. Add a scoop, let it dissolve, and then we'll add another scoop. And just kind of get, you might want to get that over a little closer. Just be careful, don't spill it on the camera. Okay, so we'll let that dissolve. And it's going to take quite a bit to get our solution completely saturated with sodium acetate. You can go ahead and add some more. Give it a few seconds, add another scoop, and we'll keep adding till it's all completely dissolved. Okay, so we're at the point now where it's holding about all of the sodium acetate it's going to be able to hold. So we have what's called a supersaturated solution. We've heated the liquid, and a heated liquid can hold more of the chemical. So once it cools off, it's really going to have more sodium acetate in this liquid than the liquid is meant to hold. So what we need to do, now we're going to cut our stirrer, we're going to cut our heat here. And we're going to pour this very carefully, because it's kind of warm, into a couple of flasks. And now basically what we want to do with these, we need to cool it off now, so that we do have that super saturated sodium acetate solution. So I'm going to let you carefully carry that one, and I will get this one, and we will place them in the refrigerator. So we've got our sodium acetate here in a super saturated solution. Now it's been in the refrigerator for a couple hours, had time to cool off. So what we want to do, I'm just going to take it, and I've got this one little sodium acetate crystal here, and I want to very carefully pour this onto that crystal. Whoops, if I hit it there. And you can see as it hits, starting, and I'm not going to get it all out before it crystallizes, but it's starting to turn to a solid. So what did our liquid do as we poured it? It um, dissolved in a liquid. Well, we dissolved but, it, but then as we poured it, it uh, turned back into a what? A solid. Tur turned into a uh, solid. Yeah. So essentially it froze, that process of going from a solid to a liquid. In this case, we call it recrystallization because the reaction is actually an exothermic reaction. That means it gives off heat, and you can actually, this is something it's safe to touch, but if you touch the sodium acetate up on there, you can tell it's actually warmed up a bit. Mm -hmm. So it's an exothermic reaction that as it turns to a solid, it's given off heat. Now I'm gonna let you take yours and pour it just very slowly, very carefully, pour it on top of what we have there. And let's see if you can get yours to recrystallize with it. You can hold it up a little bit if you want to. There you go, pour, pour, pour. And as it hits, it's starting to recrystallize, changing from a liquid into a solid, freezing while giving off heat. And they even call this, a lot of the time, they'll call it hot ice. Because even though it's appearing to freeze, it's giving off heat. And this is actually, have you ever used one of those hand warmers that you kind of pop it and it gets hot real quick with you? Uh, ever use those a... in the winter? Okay. That, a lot of those, they make the reusable type. They actually use this sodium acetate, the same reaction in those hand warmers. Because you can take this now put it in a beaker, boil it, it would turn back into a liquid, cool it off again, and you could repeat that process as many times as you want to, giving off that exothermic reaction, generating heat, good for keeping your hands warm on a cold day.